following video is guaranteed to be terrible. Hello, uh, it's me again, Top Tip. This is day two. I think it's day two uh, of me having the new iPad Pro just become available. Um, today I tried to order the Apple Pencil. Well, I've actually ordered it and paid for it, but I've been told it's going to be one to two weeks. I, I also heard a rumor online that you could possibly get the Pencil um, by just going down to a store and picking one up. Now, I called my local store, I called Apple, and they said, it's like gold dust. Is it, or have you just not made enough? Um, which I think is probably more likely. I don't know why Apple always never make enough of their stuff. And I do think that they like to boast about the idea. The suggestion is that they make as much as any other manufacturer, but uh, their stuff is so good that people will, are prepared to queue for it and go crazy. And there's a, they love to create this feel that there's a massive, like, I must have, I must have this to these things, uh, which is probably not entirely untrue. Um, anyway, uh, I have mine, I have my iPad Pro. Uh, I've had it now and uh, I've had it for a day and I've been using it. And there has been times when I've gone back to the old iPad Air uh, and, the, and I'll get into the reasons for that in a minute. Um, Talking about the pencil, pencil's not arrived yet. I am in one of the first batches of people to get it because I bought this uh, online within an hour of the link, the buy link becoming available. Uh, I've, also bought, I've also bought the pencil, there'll be one to two weeks and I've also got the, um, apparently that's already gone out, but I've not been emailed about that. The guy said, no, we've already sent out the first lot. Uh, if you want to get the pencil now, you have to wait three to four weeks. So that's the second batch that's going to be going out. Uh, so I just wish those kids in the sweatshops would work harder to get the stuff made. I mean, they're a bit lazy, aren't they? So anyway, I'm, I, I've, I've got my iPad and I've got nothing much to go on apart from this, which is no cover, no uh, proper pencil. I've been using my own old fashioned pen with a slightly rubber end. Uh, I've got two versions of that. This one I don't like because it's very uh, like abrasive at the end. This one tends to glide a lot more. Um, uh, so I've been using it. now. Everyone's going on about, oh, you know, who's it for? Who's the iPad Pro for? For me, this was go. I wanted something that I could um, do a lot of writing on. I wanted something that I could uh, do a lot of drawing on, uh, illustration, graphic work. Um, I became very excited by an application called You Make, which was kind of shown in the keynote speech when they announced this, this gadget. Um, they mentioned a program called You Make, uh, I went to the website and saw a spelling mistake. I think it was a bit of a, a, fun, a crowdfunded project. Uh, I, I emailed the guide saying, you got a spelling mistake. Uh, you know me, I, I, I don't like to, I don't like to uh, let stuff I go by, I, although I make mistakes all the time. I like to flag other people's more than my own. Uh, so he emailed me back, I thought, oh, this company's good, I like the guy. Uh, and then it, became, it got launched yesterday, this you make, which is kind of like a 3D drawing tool, uh, but it's 150 dollars a year. I couldn't believe it. 110 pounds a year. Uh, it's like, well, forget it. I don't care how good it is. That, you know, have you not heard of micropayments? And that by, the, that, by the way, that's just for one year license. Anyway, I'm going off at tangents, but it just annoys me that Apple demonstrate how good this is by showing you an app that costs another 110 pound. You know, I would expect an app to be a bit better than that. I can get CAD for that, surely. Or maybe I can't. I don't actually know. Anyway, so how's it been? Well, for me, it's been it's been awesome. Um, I can't do this. I can't type uh, while it's in this landscape mode. It's just too much. And I think there's a way of parting the keyboard. But even if there is, and I know there is, because I've done it before, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to be parting the keyboard. Um, I don't like how the icons are all spaced out like this. I'd rather get much more icons on the first screen because there's a hell of a lot of space there for it, look. Um, uh, I'm delighted that Firefox is now available and it's there. I love that. Um, uh, all the drawing apps I already have in here. I've got all my Adobe stuff there. Look, loads of Adobe uh, products, which I'm really chuffed about. And I've been tri trialing uh, them all. Um, and which one have I been drawing with? Sketchbook, I think, is the one that I've been using the most. Um, I think this isn't a particularly cheap app. I'm not seeing a sketch there, which makes me think that uh, it may be deleted. The drawing on this is um, pretty good. Um, I don't mean the drawing on this app, which is very good. Um, 
What I want is an app that when you zoom in, it doesn't go blurred and pixelated. Uh, I don't want that. I want an app that's uh, sort of vector based. Uh, but in terms of the reaction to the pen, this is the best machine I've ever used. And I've used the, the Wacom tablets. I've got like the very best, well, no, not, maybe not quite the very, very best, but like a 400 pound Wacom uh, tablet. It's called a tablet. Uh, as well i got that uh, and, and it's i don't think it's as good as this in terms of sensitivity and the latency between the pen and the screen uh, so i've been really really chuffed with that i, I i've been really inspired to do a, a little bit more drawing and, and really sort of hone down my drawing i don't want to do big elaborate works of art i want to do very simple illustrations and maybe get into kids books and stuff like that so i have a very definite idea in my head of what i want to get out of the ipad now if i was just a standard ipad user i think this is too big for you or if you're just a standard iPad user, this is too big for you because um, it's it's quite heavy. It's quite hard to hold with just three fingers like this, like I'm demonstrating now. Uh, when you're lying in bed or on the train or something, this is too much. You have to like slip it into the tips of your fingers to get your thumbs down. It's really uncomfortable to do that if you're into doing the writing. The lying it down to write is okay, but it's not really convenient. So you need something that will sit it up like that. And of course you can buy the keyboard for it, but then you've got, a, then you're kind of locked to this kind of um, mimicking of a laptop. Uh, and I don't want that either. I kind of want it to, uh, I want to be able to write on the screen occasionally, but I also want it just to free stand. Now, of course, there's lots of third party stands you can get out there. And I've actually just ordered one. I've ordered, um, but I'd rather than get a, a stand that uh, covers, it's also a cover. I've got a stand that's a bit like an easel which is really interesting that I've chosen something that's a bit like an easel. So this will stand like an easel so I can do some drawing on it. And by the way, one of the other big problems that, that has existed with uh, drawing tools is uh, the resting your hand on the screen as you're drawing because it kind of, the screen will register your, your fist or the side of the hand. Um, I think they kind of um, managed to uh, counter that. Uh, but I'm not prepared to say in this video that they've absolutely got it because uh, I've certainly seen lots of times when it's just not been the case. Oh Lord, look at this. Um, it's just not been the case that I, you know, I put my fist down there and I've tried to draw and it's done like a spike to where my, my, you know, my fist was rested. So I've not been massively impressed, but I'm reserving judgment until I've tried the pencil because I think there's a technology between the pencil and the screen. So I don't really know about these things. If, if you want to find out about the real spec of the gadgets, then this is not the channel for you. This is, I'm just a user. I'm an end user who likes to draw. I'm a pencil and paper guy and this stuff should just work. And if it doesn't, then I'll tell you about it. And, but what I won't do is get into the technology and how the technology works, because I don't really know. I'm, I'm not interested, to be honest. So what else have I got to say about it? Well, um, I do like the split screen business. Uh, Firefox is back, folks, which is really, really good. So uh, you can go to uh, Google there, and there you can just slide your finger across. Uh, I've got, um, it's immediately gone to Excel. So I've got ex uh, Excel here. If there's a little, nice little tab at the top, which if I pull down, that will then minimize on the screen. And then I can spin through the other apps on the machine that I can uh, split screen to. Um, now, what you can't do is have two Firefoxes. You can't have two Firefoxes together. You can't have two Safaris together. Uh, it's like you can only run the program once. I mean, that's how I'm thinking of it. That's probably too simplistic. So what I've got is Firefox installed, and then I can also go to, if I can find it, Safari, uh, which I'm sure isn't too far away. It's probably down the bottom, knowing my luck. Uh, my hand is hurting holding this. Uh, so there I have Safari. Okay, that's good. There's, uh, and I can then sort of split screen them, which is kind of okay. Um, I like how it sort of blurs as you're doing it. Uh, and then you can sort of type in your Google search here, the full screen. Again, you can see me trying to type. So let me do a search for BBC News. You know, it's hard to type like this. And you're probably saying, well, why do you turn it aside? It's because I don't want it to be on its side. It's <laughs> simple as that. I want to be able to type easily. So there, there we go to sort of BBC News. Um, and get off Jihadi John, don't want to see him. Um, and... Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty cool. It kind of, it seems pretty fluid. I, ha I did notice a little bit yesterday that when I had a few apps open, it did start to sort of, you know, I could see a definite not managing to cope with it very well. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I do 
think, do I, know, do I think this is faster? Well, I kind of do because one of the biggest issues I've had with Mac products and the reason that I take so much care over the packaging when I take these things out, I want to keep everything pristine and in mint condition, is that every time they release an update to the OS, uh, it, it, it becomes a very much more demanding update that the later hardware might struggle to cope with. So for example, I've, I have uh, an iPad Air 2 here, which I think has been struggling a little bit with uh, the new version 9 of OS, uh, iOS, uh, whereas the processor and the hardware built into this machine is coping with it just beautifully because it was designed to, you know, and, uh, and it all just works. Whereas when I installed the, the, the 9 OS into this, which is used to an older OS, it started to like struggle a little bit. So, you know, software uh, gets more demanding. Uh, hardware gets more demanding of, of the software. So the software really does need to be up, up to date. Um, so my thinking is that you absolutely, uh, with Apple products, all of them really need to keep the packaging really mint. Uh, the, for example, I've, this is a 559 pounds brand new if I wanted to buy it today. I've currently got it on eBay and I think I'll get about 420 for it. So for the period I've had this, which is about a year and a half, it's cost me like £120 to have this, which of course is all tax deductible to the business. Um, so, uh, so I'll be doing the same deal with this. Now, um, this was £799, uh, which is a lot of money for what you're getting. Um, but what I want is I just want something I can, you know, have like this, I can walk around with and pull it out and just get on it. And it's, I'm not worrying about my fingers touching the screen and it affecting things, and, uh, <laughs> and it does. But you know, I just want, I, I want to see if it works. I don't want, um, the, I, I didn't want the Microsoft stuff because I'm not kind of, I'm not that, I'm, I'm not like that. I think Apple do this well. Um, I think Microsoft do computing well. Um, and you're probably saying, well, well, there's no no big difference. I don't know, I'm biased. What can I tell you? I'm just biased. I don't know how to get out of this screen. Uh, if I made it crash, there we go, I'm out of it now. Um, there must be other stuff I need to tell you. You've probably got like lots of questions about, you know, what, what, what other issues are there with it. Um, let me think what else I've sort of noticed. One thing I did notice is that as, as you look at a website, say, say I was just looking at this independent newspaper here, um, the pictures are really, really big. But what I'm finding is that a lot of the websites are um, having the pictures, that's probably a bad example, but uh, the pictures just are, that one's not too bad, but you know, when you submit something to a website, you kind of vary the size of the image to suit that particular website. I'm finding that some of the websites I'm looking at, the small images are being blown up on this massive screen to the point that I'm noticing the pictures aren't very good on like, and this is like high end websites. If I went to like a site like Slate, perhaps, see if I can find it. I know that they do a very good job and it's not taking me to the website. There it is there. It's actually taking me to slates. Um, let's see if they've done a good job here or not. I seem to have, you got, sorry, I'm not, I should be showing you this and I'm not. Um, nah, it just looks like a standard uh, magazine style template. Um, what, was, what, what am I thinking about this at the minute? What I'm thinking about this at the minute is that I wish I could use it more, uh, but I can't because the, it's the ergonomics of it. Are, it's hard to handle. Um, this is easy to handle. I can take this to the loo and put on the shelf while I'm, you know, brushing my teeth. I can take it into the kitchen while I'm washing the dishes. I can lie on the sofa with this and browse around. To have this like this and browsing around, it's just not, it's, it's just not easy to do. So um, it's not like a, a, it has to be propped up somewhere. It's something to have at the side of your workstation. You know, it's, 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 it, I think it's almost like a desktop tool. Um, it's something to have that's always resting on something. Your hands need to be free to use it. That's pretty much how I'm looking at it. Um, and I, I, I think that's just how it is. And, you know, that might not be for you. It certainly um, is something that, you know, I wish it had a little bit more portability, but I'll forgive it that because I'm quite happy for it. Uh, to do all the other good stuff that it can do, which is present me with a lot of information on one page, uh, on one screen rather. Um, it has a, a fantastic ability to, um, to manage uh, illustration and drawing, all the fantastic apps from Adobe, uh, which you get as part of the uh, Adobe package, the creative 
uh, cloud package is just superb for me for the things I want to do. I want to do some video editing on it. It's going to be great for that. It's got the processing power to do that. I've opened some like Tweetbot. It's just all so big and chunky. It's just like it's just like blown up, uh, and I'm not sure if that's what I I I, I want. I don't know if I want things just bigger. I want more information. Uh, so it, I think this is something that might happen with time. I, I don't know. But um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is uh, uh, going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to the pen being released. I'm really looking forward to the keyboard. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in and doing some writing. I've been using the voice recognition software, which is excellent. So I've been, I've been enjoying uh, writing my children's book by just speaking to this machine and not even looking at it because I wish I could touch type. I can't. Um, if you've got any questions at all, this is only day one of me using the iPad Pro, then you know, write something down in the comments. I'm, I'm quite quiet at the minute, so I'm quite happy to answer any questions you've got. Um, I will, when I get this pencil and get uh, the keyboard, make another video. I might even make another video in another couple of days' time showing you some of the drawing tools that I've used with this and some of the creativity I've managed to get out of it. But for now, that's pretty much it. Uh, anyone who is uh, come to my channel a lot often hears me at this stage doing a big pitch for finding me, following me on Twitter. I'm not doing any of that anymore. I'm, I'm not going to be a YouTuber. I'm not going to make money out living on YouTube. I don't want to do it. Uh, so um, if you want to get in touch with me, you'll, you'll work out a way to do it. But that's it for now. This is day two of using the iPad Pro. I uh, hope you found that interesting. Any questions, give me a shout. Thanks very much for watching. But for now, goodbye.